Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Hi, and welcome back to the Old Testament podcast. This will be for Exodus chapter 36. All righty, verse 1. Then wrought Bazaliel and Aholiab and every wise-hearted man, or all the able men, in whom the Lord put wisdom and understanding, to know how to work all manner of work for the service, or that is the construction of the sanctuary, according to all that the Lord had, had commanded. And Moses called Bezalel and Aholiab and every wise-hearted man in whose heart the Lord had put wisdom, every, even every one whose heart stirred him up to come unto the work to do it. And they received of Moses all the offering which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of the sanctuary to make it withal, and they brought yet unto him free or free will offerings every morning." And all the wise men that wrought all the work of the sanctuary came every man from the work, from his work which they made. And they spake unto Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which the Lord commanded to make. And Moses gave commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman make any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing for the stuff or materials they had was sufficient for all the work to make it, and too much. And every wise-hearted man among them had wrought all the work of the tabernacle, made ten curtains of fine twine linen, and blue, and purple, and scarlet, with cherubims of cunning work made he them. The length of one, or each curtain, was twenty and eight cubits, and the breadth of one, cu- one curtain four cubits. The curtains were all one size." And he coupled the five curtains unto one, unto one another, and the other five con, uh, curtains he coupled one unto another. And he made loops of blue on the edge of one curtain from the sel- selvage, or on the outside of the first set, in the coupling. Likewise, he made in the uttermost side of another curtain in the coupling of the second. So they're, they're connecting the, the curtains together so that they're, it seems like it's one piece. Fifty loops made he in one curtain, and fifty loops made he in the edge of the curtain, which, were, which was in the coupling of the second. The loops held one curtain to another. Oh, I just said that, didn't I? And he made fifty tatches or clasps of gold and coupled the curtains one unto another with the tatches, so it became one tabernacle. And he made curtains of goat's hair for the tent over the tabernacle. Eleven curtains he made them. The length of one curtain was thirty cubits, and four cubits was the breadth of one curtain, and the eleven curtains were of one size. And he coupled five curtains by themselves, and six curtains by themselves. And he made fifty loops upon the uttermost edge of the curtain, in the coupling, or the other connecting curtain, and fifty loops made he upon the edge of the curtain which coupled the second. And he made fifty tatches of brass to couple the tent together, that he might be one. And he made a covering for the tent of ram skins dyed red, and a covering of badger skins above that. And he made boards for the tabernacle of shittim wood, or acacia, standing up. The length of a board was ten cubits, and the breadth of the board of one board one cubit and a half. One board had ten tenons, equally distant one from another, which made them fit one to another. Thus did he make for all the boards of the tabernacle, and he made boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side southward, and forty sockets or bases of silver he made under the twenty boards, two sockets under one board for his two tenons and two sockets, under another board for his two tenons, and for the other side of the tabernacle, which is toward the north corner, he made twenty boards, and there are forty sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board, and for the sides of the boards, or for the sides of the tabernacle westward, he made six boards, and two boards made he for the corners of the tabernacle in the two sides, those adjoining the west side, and they were coupled beneath and coupled together in the head thereof to to one ring. Thus he did both he did to both of them in both the corners. And there were eight boards, and their sockets were sixteen sockets of silver, under every board two sockets. 
and he made bars of shittim wood, five for the boards of the side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the go- for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the tabernacle for the sides westward. And he made the middle bar to shoot or pass through the boards from the one side from the one end to the other. And he overlaid the boards with gold and made their rings of gold to be to be places for the bars and overlaid the bars with gold. And he made a veil of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twine linen and with cherubims made he of cunning work. And he made the, there unto four pillars of shittim wood and overlaid them with gold. Their hooks were of gold and he cast them for sockets of silver. And he made a hanging or a screen or a curtain for the tabernacle door of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twine linen of needlework and the five pillars of it were for the, were with their hooks and he overlaid their chap, chapiters or capitals or tops of the pillars and their fillets with gold but their five sockets were of brass so uh, what i would suggest because this isn't really uh, visible is to google uh, israel's tabernacle and they'll give you'll actually see some images of what that looks like uh, it's actually pretty interesting to see. Uh, there's actually a, a full version of the tabernacle uh, that you can also Google. You can probably visit it. I can't remember now off the top of my head where it is, but uh, it's interesting to look at. Anyway, uh, we'll see you next time, and um, thanks for being here.